he also got a spare fat man apparently if you really use the one and it's busted up <laughs> what am i how am i doing off frag grenades mm, six that's fine also I, i'm kind of low on caps so i don't want to buy anything unless it's absolutely necessary well the metal armor looks properly post-apocalyptic as well oh new recon armor i could patch up my current recon armor with that also a chain sword for you uh warhammer 40k fans let me see if i make big money i'll come back and buy this recon armor off this guy but for now i don't wanna i don't wanna burn cash too much do you know about the history of this place fred i can't help you pal been here for years, but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Maybe Bannon can help you out. He sure acts like he knows it all. I checked with him, but... Uh... If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. Cindy's got all the time. It's locked Good for chance. a reason. Don't get any I'll try. ideas. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Everyone always... Even if you just mouse over a uh, cabinet, the person who owns it gets super angry. Like, visual contact is enough to make people go insane. Rivet City Supply looks a bit dry. A quick fix. Sorry, what? Shit. Just what this hole needs. Another woman. Either buy me a drink or take your skanky ass somewhere else. Oh, what? I don't think so. Get lost. Bitch! These guys won't buy me around. Just one, please. Well, if you'd tell me about history here, I could maybe give you some cash. Can't help you with the history, honey. Don't let me stop you. Ho! <laughs> oh! Sorry, that was juvenile of me. But she called me first! Mm. Hello. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. What? Damn, you sound like you've been sampling your own stuff. Relax, I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you want anything. To buy, that is. She doesn't even seem like she's tweaking that much. What's the problem here? What do you have for sale? We've got all kinds of chems. Chemical store, interesting. Including ant queen pheromones. I'm not gonna ask where you got those, lady. What's my stimpack status? My stim stat? 33. Oh, we're packing those. I can save money for a while. Well, any more tough super mutants and, uh, mm, nah. What do you know about the history? Well, I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started, really? But I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. So I'd ask him about it. Cool. Thanks. Well, see ya. I'm sure you'll be back soon. There was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. Yeah, what was I? I lost my thought for a second there. Um, That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Good old Rivet City. Making something, I don't know. Good to see you. Hello? I'm Gary. Gary Staley. If you ever get hungry, stop by Gary's Galley. That's a cute name. I am getting a bit hungry. I hunt for my own food. No, I am a bit hungry. Perfect timing then. My galley is in the market at the far end. I'll save you some Meyerler cakes. Well, tell me about the history first. I'm really, I'm very historiologist here. I know a lot of places opened up when they got the hydroponics bay working, but that's hardly the start of it all, is it? Actually, Vera Weatherly might know more. She's always here and talking with folks, so if anyone's picked up a story or two, it'd be her. Vera Weatherly. Bye. Interesting. That's another lead. It was, it was another name, the person who was down there. Oh, here's Mr. Lopez again. This is none of your business. Hey, don't be so grumpy. I haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Yeah, why wouldn't? That's kind of mean. That that's that, come on. Try to have some energy, dude. Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. That could be taken in a lot of ways, all of which are kind of horrible. I uh I feel like I should go report him to Harkness. That was kind of... And who's this person? Everyone in this place is a named person, except the security, apparently. It's interesting. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? 
Ah, curious. Uh, well, sure, I'll have something real quick. Here's a menu. Do you have fancy large snack cakes? No? Well, hmm. Well then, uh, Angela, um, I'll have some of those Myla cakes that uh, Gary promised me. Thank you. Uh, no, I, that's the wrong button. There we go. Give me a shout if you need anything else. So, tell me some stuff, like about Dr. Lee. She's not very social. Stays in her lab in the stern. She's smart, though. Real smart. The scientists are kind of like that. Well, but you can tell me about the history. I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC. But I don't really know. All right, then. Uh... Well, sure, let's ask the question. Why is this place called Gary's Galley? It's named after my dad. He's a great cook. Oh, oh, I excuse me. I thought you were his you were his uh, wife. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Whoops. No problem, Angelo. Now, as I recall, Rivet City is due to its due to being an aircraft carrier is quite the labyrinthine again. There's a flight deck. Um. Uh. Uh. This is just some sort of hanging out point. It did not help me in my quest. Hey, look, a motorcycle. Um, probably doesn't work. Hey, have I talked to that lady before? I don't remember this. Mei Wong? No, I haven't. Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you one of them? Yes, I'm a vault dweller. <laughs> Lady, you're nuts. I'm sorry. I'm just so on edge all the time. Um, we've all been there. Okay. All right. Have a nice day. Yo, anyone up for a game of pool? What a bunch of buzz kills. Yeah, see, there's a door up here. And there's a door down there. We came down those steps there. What is that? It's a lawn gnome! <gasps> oh my god! So close to a dreaded lawn gnome, and I almost could have been killed. Let's see, clinics this way and the Weatherly Hotel. Oh, Vera Weatherly! That was one of the characters that we were told to talk to. Sister's hotel door. Let's not... This one is apparently no problem opening. What time of the day is it? Three o'clock. Shouldn't it be... I don't... Nah, I'm not gonna... Uh, hello, Welcome dude with Rivet huge City hat. I've got a little bit of everything here. That's a fancy hat you got there. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. <laughs> you know... This guy reminds me, you know who's my favorite uh, NPC in Skyrim? It's, um, it's that Breton, 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 bleh. The guy in, um, Whiterun, the first city you go to, who's at the general store. Because he has my, probably my favorite line from the game is when you walk in and he goes, Everything's for sale! That's, that, this guy made me think of that. that that's my favorite line when he goes, Everything's for sale! How do I knew you won't rip me off? You don't. No guarantees in the wasteland. No rebates or exchanges either. Oh, and you break it, you buy it. Hmm, that's... can't really argue with the guy, it's true. What do you I've got sell a then? Bit of everything. And everything's for sale! Okay, I'll stop that, sorry guys. Damaged garden gnome. He does have a little bit of everything. Um... That's a silly helmet. Uh, a wood chipper. <laughs> so is that your friend in the chipper there? Do you know about the history, Mr. Holmes? Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. 
but I never really cared about the politics. Yeah, tell me about the reconstruction. Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the mire lurks used to nest and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. Cool. Well, can you guide me to someone else, sir? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton, and he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Well, this just got tricky. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. Well, you have a nice day, sir. See you later. Uh, I enjoy this uh, little history quest because it's a bit not as obvious. You just go around talking to people, trying to find a lead. See if Vera Weatherly's in here. I'm sister. They call me sister. Don't ask. Sure. I'm not gonna ask. Smart move. What did you want? What? Did you know that Mei Wang is a runaway slave? What? When did we pick that up? I thought it was a jittery lady. I'm not gonna... Okay, I'm not gonna... Hmm, alright. Do I look like someone who cares? I... Okay, nice talking to you, sis. So do I. Bye. Welcome Vera Weatherly. To Hotel. And Robot. Let's talk to Vera first. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Uh... Have you heard any interesting gossip? What? Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? I haven't met. He's addicted to chems. His poor wife Cindy is at her wit's end. Oh, I talked to Cindy Cantelli, right? Should I ask more rumors? Uh, I don't know. That seems a bit mean. Uh, let's talk about the history. I heard you might be the one to ask. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel. But I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure. And I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Yeah, just give me something, miss. Well, if it'll help. I once heard that this place was covered in Myrlurks 50 years ago, waiting all around the city. Eventually, some poor soul they thought would be lunch fought back and cleared out the whole ship. He set up the city in their place. They say he was the first counselor for the upper deck and lived here to his death. Can't say I believe it a bit, but it's a nice tale to tell. Hmm, thanks. Uh, I'm not gonna ask her about anyone else, so uh, you have a nice day. Farewell. Don't need a place to sleep right now. Let's talk to these robots, they're always nice. Mr. Buckingham. Welcome to the Weatherly. Mr. Buckingham at your service. Pleased to meet you. What is this place? This is the Weatherly Hotel. It's the finest establishment in Rivet City. What is this place? Yes, ma'am. I don't like how delayed that was. That Yes, ma'am. Seems he might not have enjoyed me just loitering Let's here. Stop bothering. Um, science lab and river city, river city. Oh, dude, <laughs> we're gonna have a fist fights here. So many. Whoa, hello, shrapnel. Don't know you. Don't care. Keep it short. Yeah, you you wanna try me, dude? Ain't worth the ammo. Just walk away before security hauls you away. Well, I'm not gonna argue that. That was a smart answer. Gosh. Ah, yeah, this place is huge, this ship. All these places. Where's this go? And there's a freaking stairwell, too? In case you didn't know. Yes, that's right. This goes right outside here. 
So, uh... Capital Predator of Science. And this looks like the hole. This... Oh, okay, here's just a bathroom in here. The Muddy Rudder. That's the bar. Let's start with this one. There was some old lady here. We could talk about the history of this place. Oh, boy, yeah. Megaton was an easy city, because it was just like this crater. And there were just some buildings. This place is out of control how huge it is. I'm Tammy. Have you seen my good-for-nothing son lately? The little shit is usually up to no good. Hargrave. I don't recall. Okay, I'm not gonna touch this subject with a ten-foot pole. No, haven't seen him. Figures. He should buy me a drink now. Why don't you tell me about the history first of this place? Get away! I've got enough to deal with without you wasting my time. Like I care. Great. Actually, yeah, maybe I can dare take a stand here and say, maybe, uh... Maybe your little shit kid's taking uh, to her, to his or her, um... Uh, mom there. Is this hey, Belle Bonnie? I think... I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I think this is who we're supposed to talk about the. Uh... Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. I think this was who we we're supposed to talk about the. Uh... Talk about the history. Let's see. Is this swell even safe to drink? Probably not. What do you have? I like that answer, lady. Oh, let, let's do some gossiping. Is Polly really addicted to chems? Oh yeah, he's a mess. I'm glad I'm not in Cindy's shoes. Oh my. Look, okay. gossip seems rude, people. Let's not do that. Do you have any stories about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? I don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. Hmm. Yeah, let's try this one. This one's actually kind of tough, uh, but we'll try. No, but I can damn sure share a bag of get the hell out of my bar. First one's on the house. Now scram. Ouch. Okay. That didn't quite... But that doesn't always work out, guys. Well, you know, I talked to Bannon. He said he organized the entire place himself. Huh. Why, that lying son of a bitch. He wasn't even born when I got here. Want to know this tub's history? Only person who really knows it is Pinkerton. And most think he's dead or gone. He's holed up in the other half of the ship. And he don't like visitors. He'll set you straight. Okay, so we need to find this Pinkerton guy, I guess. Uh, I don't remember actually doing this part of the quest. I can't remember how do you get the Pinkertons. I'll be right here when you get thirsty. Wonder if I take the uh, quest. If the... It'll show... I think it only shows us to go to... No, there is a symbol down there. Interesting. So I think we will try and find this Pinkerton guy. See, okay, now nah, I'm just doing this like this is again. You should have used your head and tried to find Pinkerton's hideout yourself, whatnot. But now nah, I'm just like, oh, please, let me use this quest marker to try and find it. Well, I've been hunting down, um... I've been hunting down, um, what's, what's his face, uh, Dr. Lee, uh, without using the quest marker, to be honest, I haven't been really looking at it, so, um, in that sense I've been, uh, okay, adventure gamer guy, I guess. Um. That's where I came down from. I, I, I'm can't deal with how huge this place is. Let's just check the bridge tower. Yeah, I remember being overwhelmed the first time I came to this, for my first game when I came here too. It's, it's like, well, here we are, the flight deck. How exciting. Whoa, look at all these old US Army planes. Do any of these work? Hey, there's some kid up here. Is this, that kid's floating in the air? All right. Are you the troublemaking little shit kid? Yes, you are. What do you want? So, where's your family? My mom is probably drunk, and my dad's dead. Is that good enough for you, asshole? I was gonna say, well, he's not that bad, but then... Stop that. Then he called so me an stupid. asshole. My mom... What's your problem, lady? Look, 
Met your mother. No wonder you're such a brat. What did you say about my mother? You, you take that back. What? Is this gonna make him literally run away from home? I don't want to say that. I didn't mean to upset you. Go jump off the flight deck, asshole. Well, maybe I will, Dipwad. Hmm. Why is this floating? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. You can't talk to her for whatever reason. It just goes. Yes, miss. All right. Okay. Hey. Well, let's not. Let's let's find Doctor Lee I'm before I just. Yeah, you do that, kid. Uh, let's go find Dr. Lee before I worry about uh, Pinkerton's secret stash of city-founding data. What a, kind of a weird quest. After all... Oh god, what way did I come here again? Oh, these all go, I think, outside. Do they? Yes, okay. I was just I was just suddenly overwhelmed. Like what? Where did I come from again? And this one goes even higher. Yeah. Whoa, Commander Danvers. Hello. Maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Commander Danvers, Assistant Chief of Security. Whoa, whoa! I just wanted to ask you something. Yeah, well, I don't have time for newbies like you. You got something on your mind? Spill it. Uh. So many things to gossip about. Let's give the history, of course. Sorry, but I don't really know much about it. More worried about what's going wrong with the here and now, see? Mm, okay, tell me about Dr. Lee then, how about? She's some sort of genius. You know, one of those egghead scientist types. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. Great. Let's gossip about that awful little kid, okay? He's trouble. That's what he is. I don't trust him. And neither should you. His mother's a drunk. Spends all her time in the muddy rudder. Yeah, alrighty then. Well, thanks, lady. Duty calls. Yeah, call before the storm. It's, oh, this is where the security hangs out, sleeping, I guess. Well, I'm not going to fly ticket. There's still another floor to this place. Hey. Mr. Lopez is here again. Oh, hello. This isn't a Mr. Handy, this is a Mr. Gutsy. And I don't know why I say it. I was so panicked running into Mr. Gutsy here. Sir, yes, sir. Private Jones reporting. Okie dokie. At ease, Private. Here to inspect the armory. Sir, you are not authorized to enter the armory. Sir, please don't make me shoot you, sir. Okay, backing away from the homicidal robot. Bye. Yeah, those guys don't mess around like the uh, Mr. Handy is the Mr. Gutsy is will. Make you a mess. Oh, nice to see you too. Oh man, Bethesda NPCs are so random with their emotions. So this is where the hotel was. Let's go check the clinic, I guess. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. My god, I, my eyes simply passed over it. What is wrong with you people? Here's the clinic, apparently. Anyone here? What time of the day is it? It's almost it's almost six, so oh, that's just a patient. Oh, oops. Uh, there's no one in here. Um, do, 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 do. No, I'm not gonna do that. Why would I do that? Silly. Don't know where the doctor is, there's just an unconscious patient there. Well, whatever. Ooh, science lab, perfect. Let's get some actual plot before. Not just me wandering around talking to people all the time. Oh, uh, paranoid save there. We've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives. And your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... 
what's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. What is going on here? Facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. Hey, these no, vegetables are fresh. Are what the hell? You could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness. How did you people do this? This is amazing. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. What is going on here? You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Yeah, that depends. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Yeah, I, you were talking about a robot a second ago. What are we talking about here? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Yeah, that's curious. I don't know what to think uh, here. They're making like intelligent robots. I think that Mr. Handy see pretty intelligent too. Um, at least my robot butler is a pretty smart guy. I think. Uh, yeah. What? What? This sounds a bit shady. Nonsense. This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Um, let's see. I'm not sure how it is up north, but around here we get paid for our work. <laughs> I'm sorry. It slipped my mind. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think. You'll be the envy of all your friends. Well, I guess I'll look into this weird quest. I don't really trust this Zimmer guy, but I gotta check in on what this thing is, so... Excellent! Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Ah, now we got this curious quest. So, where can I find this robot? He looks like a person. Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. Well, okay. Can you tell me about this city while we're at it? Looks to me like a giant boat ran aground and a bunch of savages moved in. History lesson over. Yeah, oh yeah, I guess. You're not around from here, so why would I ask you? All right, nice meeting you, Dr. Zimmer. Of course you do. So I never did that quest when I played this game the first time involving this android. Uh, I do believe... 
this world map only points us to Dr. Preston, so this is a more this is a more involved quest that we really need to. So I don't even know where this android is in this game. Um, at least I never found out in my first playthrough. However, I noticed while the, recording this let's play, I noticed a certain tidbit involving a certain character, which made me suspect at that time that I may have found my man. Now I don't know if I'm gonna pursue this quest this time either, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil it for myself by looking up where the android is, but I... One NPC struck me a little fishy in this game. One NPC very briefly mentioned, I think it might be who I'm looking for. I don't know, we'll, we'll see about it at some point. Maybe I'll go look for, doc, talk to Dr. Preston at some point. Um, and, and it's not in here in uh, Rivet City, actually. It's a character I met, it's a character somewhere else we've been in this game. Um, but I guess nothing says that the android has to be here in Rivet City. Like, these quests don't have to be self-contained like that, so... Also, it's interesting, I, I don't really know what the plot of Fallout 4 is, because I haven't played it yet, but apparently those synths play a much bigger role in the plot of that game, I understand. So I must mention synths in, like, trailers and stuff. So that's kind of interesting that they kind of seed that plot idea already here with this guy from the Commonwealth, and, and like, it, that gets carried on in, like, the main quest of the next game. Like, that's quite forward thinking, I'm impressed. Well, we didn't have time to talk to Dr. Lee in this episode. I'm out of time. So next episode, we're going to finally move on with the main plot, talk to Dr. Lee, find out what about Dad. Then, depending where that goes, I believe we will have a chance to go look for Pinkerton's stash. Maybe look for the android. But eventually get looking for Dad again. So, hope you guys look forward to that. Bye!